All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, Bashim Rakak Kodash, double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, Brach to the hopeful elect, Shalom. Uh, today, the, it's just going to be a video, you know, surrounding the word supplant because, you know, Israel before his name was changed was Jacob. And if you go into the. Uh, to the strong concordance let me just get it here for y'all um, you know it the, the definition of the word Jacob means supplanter you know and, and this is just you know I just want to kick started with this and just you know just roll through the spirit Lord willing this video will be edifying um, so starting off here this is the word for Jacob Strong's H3290 Yaakov. Right. Yaakov. Which is really, which is really Yaakov, you know? Yaakov. So, looking at it, looking at the word, <clears throat> Salaki. Just give me one second, let me pull it up. Why does it keep doing that? <clears throat> Into linear. Right, it says heel catcher, i.e. supplanter. And then this is from the lexicon. It says taking hold of the heel, supplanter, layer of snares, man. So really, we're gonna focus on this word supplanter. As you see, I got it pulled up on Google. It says to supersede and replace, and that's and that's what we're going to do um, to this to this current you know societal ruling structure, as you can say, you know. We're, we're going to supersede, you know, in, in terms of power. You know, we're going to have more power than than the elites. We're going to have more power than these heathens. We're going to have more power than any any great, so in any so-called great nation on this earth, man. Because we're going to have the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. You know, we have the, 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 the God of Jacob, man, on our side, you know. The God of, 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 of the supplanter, man. It says, take the place of a person or thing previously in authority. Supplant. Exactly, man. So we're, we're going to be taking the place of the elites who run this who run this world, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. That's how we're going to do it, man. It's not going to be done through carnal means. It's not going to be done through, you know, uh, really any other way. Cause if, if if you're not if you're not doing this thing through the spirit and power of your Hashem Yahsha, you're not doing it the right way, man. You know. This is the, in the Merriam-Webster to supersede another, especially by force or treachery. Uh, definition two: to eradicate and supply a substitute for, and we're gonna eradicate the Edomites off the earth, man. <laughs> and, and and we're and we're gonna be the 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 next ruling class, man. You know, so all all these. You know, the term Jacob was a nomen nomen, so he went from a supplanter to the prince of the power. And doesn't it say in Daniel that, you know, the saints of the Most High are going to take the kingdom? You know, it's, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to finesse the kingdom out of, out, out, out of bitch ass E's head, man. When our, when our brick brother Yahweh Shah comes back, man, he, he's going to be the ultimate supplanter, man. You know, he's going to supersede the power and the glory that Edom, Esau has. And, and, he, and he's going to he's gonna put the crown on himself, man. That's why that man is called the king of kings. You know, there's there there's nobody that can checkmate the most high, man. You know, right here. Dictionary.com. We're going to read this definition and then we're going to move on to the scriptures. It says supplant to take the place of another as through force, scheming, strategy, or the like to replace one thing by someone else, man. So hey, there we go. You know, it's it's all about let's let's go ahead and start off by getting this scripture.
Yeah. Sirach chapter 10, verse 4. Let's yeah, let's just start at verse. Uh, let's start at verse one. Start from the top. Sirach ten and one. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. So you're going to instruct your people to be, you know, following the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, making sure you're giving all praises, all your glory, all honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man, and not being boastful. And that's that's the rule, the rulership that we're going to have. Um, in, in this next kingdom, man, coming up, you know, we're, we're going to instruct the people the ways um, of, of our power, you know, and the heathens going to buck up. They're going to try to do their own thing, but they, they're, they're going to be shown the power of the Lord, man. You know, we're going to be executing that judgment, you know, it says as the as the judge of the people is himself. So are his officers and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them that are, or that which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And here we are, we have the rulership of the unwise king, man, playing, playing into effect right here. You know, this man has to be su supplanted. He has to be superseded and replaced with one that is profitable, as it says here. It's, uh, Sirach 10 and 4, it says, the power of the earth is in the hands of the Most High. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable, man. You know, the 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 first and foremost, the one that is profitable is our is our brother Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's the one that's that that's worthy for that title to be King of Kings, man. You know, he he's the one that's gonna be be you know the the ultimate you know high up elite, man. Cause cause he's gonna he's gonna enforce the law, you no. Know? He's gonna he's gonna give his men the spiritual power. He's gonna give his men, you know, rulership. You know, Esau he the it, the elites just want it all you know grouped up to themselves, man. They don't give a fuck about anybody else, man. But really, our whole nation is 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 gonna be you know on a level, man. Our whole nation is gonna be un unfuckwittable, man. There's there's not gonna be a, the death of an Israelite ever, you know, once we get into the kingdom, man. You know, so you're gonna be able to 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 see your your ancestors, 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 man, going back to the elect because the elect is really gonna be the ones that um, bring back Israel. So you're gonna be able to see all your family members. You know, you're gonna be able to 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 have um, true peace and to actually live, man. You know, without being oppressed, without having an, an, another inferior man over you, man. This, this, these are the things that we are looking forward to in the kingdom of heaven. But in order to get to that, we, <laughs> we, we must supplant, man. We got to use the spirit and power of Yahweh Yasha to supersede our enemies, and then we will replace them. You know, <clears throat> in the hand of the Most High is the prosperity of man, and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor. Bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices pride is hateful before uh, the most high man and by the and by both the one commit iniquity man so <clears throat> obviously you know uh the most high is gonna is gonna hate you know the the proud the proud ones that think they got it on their own you know going going to you edomites man he's gonna hate the ones that 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 don't recognize that um, their position was given to him by the Most High, man. They, they, they. Esau didn't earn, earn this kingdom, man. Esau didn't do nothing special to earn the kingdom. The Lord created the wicked for the day of destruction. The Lord created the wicked, you know, to be a whipping stick unto our nation, man. To, to, to put us <clears throat> in time out, in, in, in captivity, man. Um, let's go. Let's go to Second Edra six, man. Right. Second Edra six verse seven. Then I answer and said, What shall be the parting asunder at times? Or when shall the end of of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. 
Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And as we um, looked it up in the uh, BLB, um, the blue letter, it's the, the, the name for Jacob is, is, is holder of the heel, man. You know, the one who's going to who's gonna trip up the ones in front of him, man. You know, it says for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So we're, we're, we're going to supplant, you know, the, the rulership, as it says in Daniel again, man. And, and it says it here in, in Ezra. You know, Ezra says it more, um, it's more detailed here in Ezra because it's telling you who, who we're going to, you know, supplant the kingdom from, man. It's from Esau. It's from the wicked who are in authority now. They're, they, 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 their power is going down, and the power um, of, of the elect, Lord willing, we be to be those men is is growing up, man. You know the power of how the spirit and power of how Bashim Yasha is being boosted, man. Boosted daily. You know the more the more we push this truth, the more we go out to camp, the more we pray to the Lord and and ask the Lord to show His power and increase our faith, man. That's 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 the spirit and power of how Bashim Yasha being boosted. Is is being um, is um, superseding, you know, the power of the wicked, man. Because ultimately, we we gonna we gonna come out on top, you know. The judgment is already written. But Esau, you know, he's a fighter, man. You know, Esau's gonna be a fighter. Knowing him, he's gonna fight to the nitty gritty for his for his kingdom, man. But it's not gonna come to pass. Let's end it off on here. Um. Once again, Lord willing, this will be edifying. You know, I've just really been um, freestyling this, as you can say, through the Spirit. But this is Psalms chapter 146, verse 1. It says, Praise ye uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Praise ye the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise uh, the Most the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahshai. I will sing praises unto my power while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. Right? Don't don't put your trust in uh in starting off with Esau. Never trust our enemy. You know, don't don't put your trust in these two thirds. Don't put your trust in anything that's not coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Because those that's that's not where the power is going to. The power isn't going to Esau an, another round, man. Esau ain't gonna have another kingdom. This this is his last round right here. You know, he, he had his time with the Romans, and then you know we put him in subjection. Now he he's rose up and, and, and he, he's on his last stand, man. You know? It says his breath goeth forth, he returneth to the earth, and that every day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the power of Jacob for his help, man. So happy we should be because, you know, through the spirit we we're, we're part of that lineage, man. Through the spirit, we're we're part of that 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 royal bloodline. You know, let that sink in. We're part of a royal bloodline, man, and in which we have the, the the power of Jacob behind us, man. You know, really go into the Old Testament, and and you can see, um, just um, account upon account upon account of how the power of Jacob showed himself, man. You know, the Lord brought fire down to the earth. The Lord cleared the whole sea and, and let the bottom of the sea be dry, man. You know, he turned rivers into blood. He's opened up holes and swallowed up swallowed up wicked ass niggas, man. You know, he he's shown his chariots. Man, he's just <laughs> the power of Jacob, man, is, is really gonna is the that that's gonna that's gonna come back and have a lot of, of weight to it. You know, that that title, you know, the power of Jacob. You know, because especially in these last days, when, when you know, Lord willing, we be those men, when brothers get them spiritual powers, man, when brothers, you know, when the Lord is basically taking the cap off, cap off our power, man, and let us, you know, go go super saiyan, as as, as we can say, man, y'all y'all are really going to fear the Lord, man. Like, truly fear the Lord and, and fear, you know, Israelites, because as you read in the, um, I think it's after the exodus of, of Egypt, man. People were scared to be around us, man. People were scared at our sight because they knew what 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 type of power, what type of entity was dealing with us, man. The, these nations had fear on sight. 
nowadays when you walk down the street, niggas step on your J's. Niggas, you know, shoulder bump you, man. Cut right in front of you. Disrespect you, man. That's because, you know, we, we, the Lord took away his face from us, man. He wasn't, he wasn't dealing with us like that. So we didn't have no power. You know, we didn't have no power. We didn't have no power of Jacob. We were just niggas, slaves, Mexicans, spear chuckers, you know, a lot of Sicilians got uh, persecuted. A lot of Irishmen or, you know, Israelite Irishmen, Israelite Sicilians, you know, uh, it's, it's been a long time coming, you know, but now the change is going to come, you know, it says whose hope is in the power is in the Lord, how Bashem Yashah, his power, which made heavens and earth and the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executed judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord looseth the prisoners, man. So he's going to execute judgment for the oppressed, man. And by doing that, he's going to supplant. <laughs> he's going to supplant the, 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 the current rulership, man. You know, judgment judgment for the oppressed is what's what's let's what is what is judgment for the oppressed, man? Let's <laughs> let's answer answer that with the scriptures, right? Go to Old Faithful right here. This is Old Faithful. Isaiah 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob, let that be known. Jacob, the power of Jacob is going to only have mercy on Jacob, man. It's not the whole world for you Christians. You know, just want to let that out. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So... You know, judgment for the oppressed, us being, you know, on this Western Hemisphere is, is getting our land back. That's part of the judgment. And, and here's the second part. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahshai for servants and handmaids. And they shall take captives whom captives they were. And they shall rule over their, over their oppressors, man. And so that, that answers what is the judgment. And, and Psalms 146, man. Because if you oppressed, you're going to get the chance to rule over your oppressors, man. That's that's righteous judgment. That's how Yahweh Bashem Yahusha operates, man. That's the power of Jacob. Let's continue. It said, We execute judgments for the oppressed, which give it food to the hungry. The Lord looses the prisoners. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha hath opened the blinds, the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. You know, re, and he re, re, reliveth the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked, he turned upside down. Right. So what's what's the way of the wicked now, man? They on top. They doing it big. You know, they causing hell. They kicking ass, taking names. You know, they're 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 implementing whatever wicked devices they want. But what's what's the opposite of that? Being low, man. Being where we at, down low, catching hell, being oppressed, in slavery, in subjection, you know this, <laughs> this, this, this is all this that's coming, man. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy power, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so hey, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, I really wanted to, you know, I just kick started with, you know, going into the word supplant, man. Because that's that that's what we're gonna do. Let's read the definition one last time. You know, with that all that being said, it says to supersede and replace, man. And to supersede is just it's just to grow more in power, man. To overcome. You know, and that's and that's that's what Yahweh Shah did. Yahweh Shah overcame overcame the world. And you know, ultimately is 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 laying a snare because he, he already won the game. He's waiting for his prize, man. You know, he, he, he's got a snare for Esau thinking that they're going to rule forever until he comes back and takes what rightfully his, man. To, to, to supplant the Edomites, you know, to supplant these heathens, to supplant the world, man. You know, but with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of the great millstone, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, to the hopeful elect. Shalom.